sure people don't really know what you do or like blame you for things that they probably, <laughs> that you have no, nothing to do with. What are some of the things that you can debunk as like these myths that people think you're in, you're pro- people probably think you're in control of everything, but we know that's not necessarily <laughs> the case. Are there like three myths that you'd love to just for the record clear up right now in terms of what people think being mayor is and what it actually is, or maybe some things that people think you're responsible for, but at the end of the day, you're so far removed from it. So I think when you hear the word mayor, you think it's like a person who kind of runs the town, right? But the way our city government is structured, our city council is a group of five people and the mayor is, you know, the head of the city council for one year. You get elected to a four-year term, but you serve as mayor for one of those four years. And you're kind of like the chairman of the board uh, Mm -hmm. in that position. And the person in our case, in our city, in our form of government who kind of runs the city day to day is our city manager, um, which is kind of like, if you think about a nonprofit structure, like the executive director. And so, A lot of people come to the mayor with their problems, but ultimately it's city staff that's going to help solve them. And so I'm not a mayor like Mayor Garcetti, where we are a chartered city with a directly elected mayor that, you know, is bestowed with certain powers and authority. It's a little bit different than that. But that being said, it's a great platform and opportunity for people to have someone in their community that they can connect with when they have problems. I will say that sometimes, you know, I've had people reach out to me because they're upset that their next door neighbor hasn't put their trash cans away in a timely manner. Again, not something I would think to call my mayor about, but it's happened. And, you know, you have to meet people where they are and deal with them, you know, deal with their daily problems in the same way they're experiencing them. So do I have special powers to make people put their trash cans away? No. Um, But, (laughs) but, uh, you know, sometimes sending an email, I guess, will do the trick. I also think being mayor of the city, it feels like we also are not full-time. And so I have a full-time job outside of this. That's how I'm able to afford to live in West Hollywood. And the city council is not considered a full-time job. We get paid a stipend, but it's not even enough to pay my rent, (laughs) that stipend per month. So the full-time job that I have is what I do. So the work that I do for the community really is because I love it uh, and because I want to be of service and I want to help people in the city. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.